Hello, this is George Sender, the guy from Pittsburgh, and in the next video, you'll see us going toward Mount Diablo at 1030 in the morning. Well, amazingly, we went to Concord, stopped at the Toyota place, and then went one other place to get food for me and Kathy. We came back, and Kathy saw on the way to Walmart that it had snowed in Mount Diablo. We had blue skies at 1030, and by 3 o'clock, about 10 miles away, the whole mountain was covered in snow, and we're short on gas money, so we couldn't uh, go look at it, and I left my iPad alone. It's a pity, because it doesn't snow very often in the Bay Area, but it snowed, and a big storm is coming in probably tonight. The weather app says tomorrow, but uh, I, my, my right knee is acting up, and we walked out of Walmart, and it was really, really cold, and it wasn't that cold we went in. So that's happening. Here's my pizza. So, um, uh, big storm is coming, but it, uh, it, it snowed on Mount Diablo, and that uh, it, it was amazing to Kathy when we went to Concord. I was doing the unboxing video and filming, so I didn't see Mount Diablo. But on the way back, it was covered in snow. Really cool. All right, bye-bye for now. Hello, this is George Senda, the guy from Pittsburgh. Because of the problems I had last week, I'm asking people to donate to my uh, emergency funds, so I don't have my internet cut off in the future, my bank account overdrawn, or whatever. I had real problems last week. All right. Uh, one person tried to donate today, and they wrote the address down wrong, and they couldn't donate. It got sent back as not existing. My email is falke, F-A-L-K-I-E, 2013 at gmail.com. You can send gift cards, cat food, cat toys, and... Checks and money orders to George Senda, 815 Court Street, number 786 Martinez, California, 94553. I just got a gift in the mail, and I thank the person for that. And uh, I really appreciate any gifts or donations people have given me in the past or recently. This is George Senda, the guy from Pittsburgh. Bye-bye for now. Hello, this is George Senda, the real official, one and only, original, authentic, the guy from Pittsburgh, and here's Kathy. Hello. And we're going by the Martinez Ref Shell Refinery. Okay, drive through the water, Kathy. <laughs> and uh, headed to the Toyota shop to get the car looked at for that thing that came off the car uh, last I'm week. I'm afraid to ask. So, well, we'll deal with that when we cross that bridge. Anyway, up there is a Benicia Bridge and a toll booth. This is a road you take to get to the freeway to go either in or out of Martinez. And that way is Benicia and Fairfield and Vallejo. That way is Concord and Walnut Creek and San Francisco. There's a uh, wildlife bird sanctuary here. It smells when it gets hot like a swamp. There's, I guess, molten sulfur or something. I don't know what they put in that thing. So anyway, uh, the internet at home for some reason is still ongoing. I got a new subscriber today, and um, this uh, refinery, by the way, has been here since 1915. And uh, so I thought, and there, I didn't realize there are tanks down there. Usually we come out here in the dark. Um, there's part of the swamp. Or they call it wetlands. Lots of frogs in there. They go really, 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 really. Lots of birds. When you come on the other side, I'll do a video of that on the way back. You go on the other side, you'll see hundreds of ducks and loons and uh, these white birds that stand on one leg. I don't know what those things are. Do you know what those things are? Uh, what's, are those or egrets, egrets, that's egrets. Anyway, this is the freeway. This is, uh, what is this, Highway 80? Or, I don't know. But, uh, I never pay attention to freeway numbers. There's all the oil tanks. coming Thursday and Friday. And, uh, so, 
had the bikes Green Hills. Oh, yeah. Me, I figure you've seen one Green Hill, you've seen them all. <laughs> Clouds in the sky, no rain today. So get the cool off, but it's still got a dip in the air in Martinez because it's windy. All right, and while I'm here, it's time for Bergen Boxing. And somebody criticized me for getting the Echo Show. Well, it enables me when this is uploading and the computer is, uh, or, or the computer is processing my videos, I can look at something on the internet on the show while both devices are being tied up. You should be showing how beautiful it looks now. I am, but I'm busy doing an unboxing here. Oh. I can't unbox and show grass at the same time. Anyway, it is kind of pretty if you like green grass, but I'm being allergic to grass. It's my arch enemy. All right, now. carry a scissor in this car. Uh, can you hold that in one hand for a minute? The show enables me to look up stuff on the internet, watch YouTube, check the weather, check gold and silver prices. Listen to music while I'm uploading or downloading. And the iMac will lock up, Firefox will lock up. We won't even talk about the Mac world. So. Uh -oh. And, um, alright. This comes from New York. And you can see the nice blue, cloudy, puffy, cottony sky. And here's the box. And you can see I am not driving the car. Those who think I am driving the Prius, which I am not. I'm trying to do this with my left hand, and I am no good with my left hand. All right, here's the box. And there's more unboxing to come as items are being sent to me. And this is for my 2000 uh, iBook. This is the restore software. So I always want to have uh, Restore software, but I find it for all my devices. So uh, downloads don't always cut it. Sometimes you can't find downloads. So that's that's what's in this box. And uh, Patty cleaned the car out. Let me turn this around. I help. Can't help. No wallet in my car, so we're gonna look in my apartment. She cleaned the car out, and for some reason she takes the cover the back area and covers up everything. I don't know why. She's so anal retentive. Alright, um, now we're at uh, Concord Avenue by the Target. And, oh, by the way, I got some news that came over the wire this morning. A company has bought Toys R Us and Babies R Us and the Jeffrey and they, they're planning to bring back Toys R Us. Good. So, Kathy loves Toys R Us. I like going there, oh, too. Oh, yeah. So, there's Ross and uh, Metro PCS and uh, GameStop and mm -hmm. T-Mobile. And in and out that's always packed, and we don't understand it because we've eaten it in and out twice, and both times it's gone in and it's gone out. And the stuff no takes flavor. Short, no flavor, but... They're line, usually lined up in droves for that food, and I don't... It understand. cracks me up because it smells good. Yeah, it smells good, but it tastes terrible to us. No, the, then, there is oh, no taste to it. Yeah, and uh, it's like bland. They claim no trans fats, and we ate the French fries, and there were no trans flavor. And over there, <laughs> the building that you can see in the corners is uh, where Toys R Us used to be, and the place I did an abandoned video of the Kmart where they've torn down the Kmart now in the old Safeway. They're supposedly putting condos in there. All right, I'm going to end this one and I'll start another one in a minute. But this is George Sender, the guy from Pittsburgh. Have a great day. Stay wet, warm, dry, or cool as the case may be and stay safe out there. And this has been another episode of Mobile Berg Unboxing. Let's uh, do one more thing here as we go by the Toys R Us. I miss Toys. So does Kathy. Oh, the great store. All right, I hope they reopen. I've been going there since I was a little child. There it is. And let's see if 
Uh, they're not lined up right now for In-N-Out Burger, but during the summer, it, that, there's lines going up the block. There's Toys R Us. They're, they've already covered it up. I don't know what they're going to put in there. Okay, bye-bye for now. Hey, uh, oh, okay, this is George Send, the guy from Pittsburgh, and this is uh, Concord's kind of auto row. Here's the Ford dealer. Over there is the golf course. I wish these bars weren't in the way in the car. They would figure a way to support the windshield without the bars. So we're on Concord Avenue now. And uh, Buchanan Field is behind the golf course. They fly jets to us, private jets. Here's uh, the Toyota dealer. And... Uh, there's a hotel there, and behind there, like I said, is uh, you can see the hangers if you look through there. This is a new shopping center they built a couple of years ago. Starbucks and Petco. We've never gone into that Petco. We should and uh, Trader Joe's. We've gone in there a lot. And uh, there's a Taco Bell and uh, 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 what is that? Uh, Sam's Club. Used to be Sports Authority there, and they. What did they put in the now? Car sales. Oh, well, that's new. They got that uh, Enterprise Car Sales. They turned the Sports Authority into a place to sell cars. Office building is over here. Um, this is one of the most heavily traveled uh, surface streets around. Here's the irrigation canal. And, uh, here is, uh, what is this? Is this a Honda dealer? Subaru? Somebody, I don't know which one. I know the other one that's across the street. Autocom. Well, that didn't used to be Autocom. It used to be somebody else. That's new. I don't know. Oh, it says pre owned Nissan. Oh, it's a Nissan dealer. Okay, that's Nissan dealer. This is a Honda dealer. Audi and Acura. And over there is Honda. I got the. I thought that was a Honda dealer. Well, maybe they maybe got two lots. Here's a public storage. Wheel Works. That was a furniture store at one time. Big O Tires. Here's a flooring place, and it used to be a paint place in here. Storage place over here. We got to get to the way on the other side of the freeway. There's a chili. Someone stole the big. They had a giant chili, and someone stole it. Uh, this used to be a house. They tore it down. This was a recycling place. It's gone. There's another car dealer, Monster. And uh, that's it. All right. Have a great day and stay warm, wet, dry, or cool as the case may be. And stay safe out there. This is George Send, the guy from Pittsburgh. Bye-bye for now.